OK, welcome. So what we have here is n equals 100e to the kt. And what they're asking us if um, n is going to be the amount of bacteria that we have, um, and n is going to be our initial amount. And what they say is the amount of bacteria we have is equal to 300 when, after five years, what is the time needed for our amount to double? Now, before we can just say, you know, what is the amount to double, we don't know how fast this bacteria is growing. So what we're going to do is that we're going to first try to determine our k. And k is going to be uh, the rate at which our bacteria is going to grow. So I have 300 equals 100 e to the k t, when t would be 5. And I can just write this as 5k. So now to solve for k, I'll divide by 100. So I have 3 equals e to the 5k. Now to solve for this, I'm just going to take the log, natural logarithm of both sides. Therefore, I have a ln of 3 equals 5k. Divide by 5, divide by 5. k equals the ln of 3 divided by 5. Now we can approximate that answer by using our nice little calculator, which I have one right over here. So to do that, I'll take the ln of 3 and divide it by 5. And I get 0.2197. Now, I don't like to approximate these answers, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep this value in my calculator. So when I plug it into my other equation, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use the exact value for k. But now they're asking us for what is the amount of time. So we need to figure out what t is going to be for our amount to double. So if we start with the amount of 100, we want to double it. That means we want to get it to 200 equals 100e to the k, which we now know is that approximate value, 0.2197 times t. All right. So to solve for this, again, we can just divide by 100. So I have 2 equals e to the 0.2197 times t. Then again, ladies and gentlemen, what we'll do is we'll take the ln on both sides again. Now that stays. <laughs> so therefore, I have the ln of 2 divided by my growth rate, so 0.2197. Now again, I'm going to use this exact value to equal t. All right. So I remember I kept that value in my calculator. So I'll have the same one. So what I'll do now is just going to take ln of 2 divided by my growth rate, which was that 0.2197224577. Point, point which is my aunt's second answer. And that's going to leave me with 3.15 years. So t is going to equal approximately 3.15 years. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you determine back to your growth. Thanks.